If you are new, welcome. If not, welcome back. Today, we're going to be going over pass keys with Google instead of passwords. So here it says sign in with a pass key instead of a password. Pass keys are a simple and secure alternative to passwords. With a pass key, you can sign in to your Google account with your fingerprint, face scan, or device screen lock like a pin. Pass keys provide the strongest protection against threats like phishing. Once you create a pass key, you can use it to easily sign into your Google account and to verify it's you when you make sensitive changes. Now important, if your account has two-step verification or is enrolled in the advanced protection program, you will bypass your second authentication step by signing in with a pass key since this verifies that you have possession of your device. If you have a Google Workspace account, through your school or employer, you will not be able to use pass keys to sign in at this time. At this time is the keyword, so they might change it in the near future. Now check what you need to create a pass key. So you can create a pass key on these devices, a laptop or desktop that runs at least Windows 10 or Mac OS Ventura, sorry Windows 95 users, no hate, all love. A mobile device that runs at least iOS 16 or Android 9. A hardware security key that supports the FIDO2 protocol. Your computer or mobile device will also need a supported browser like Chrome 109 or up, Safari 16 or up, Edge 109 or up. To create a pass key, your device must have the following enabled, screen lock and Bluetooth. No, if you want to use a pass key on a phone to sign in to another computer. So that's related to Bluetooth there. Now tip, to ensure the best pass keys experience, we recommend you update to the latest available release for your operating system. So like Android, iOS, WebOS, macOS, Safari, depending on your operating system and browser, you may not be able to create or use pass keys while in private browsing mode like incognito or other equivalent. So now let's get to the create a pass key point. So creating a pass key, important. When you create a pass key, you opt into a pass key first passwordless sign in experience. Create pass keys only on personal devices that you control. Even if you sign out of your Google account, once you create a pass key on a device, anyone who can unlock the device can sign back into your Google account with the pass key. Interesting. So you may need to sign into your Google account to verify it's really you. For more information, go to this link here and I'll paste the link into the description. All the links that are in this article, I will put in the description. Now, another thing, if your account already has pass keys, they will be listed here. So if you have an Android phone signed in with this account, you may have pass keys registered automatically for you. Now to use pass keys for sign in, tap use pass keys. If you don't have any pass keys yet, tap create a pass key and continue. Follow the instructions. Now to complete the creation of your pass key, you may be required to unlock your device. To create pass keys on multiple devices, repeat these steps from those devices. You may also create a pass key on an external FIDO2 capable USB security key. So a tip, once you create your first pass key, you're prompted to create a pass key on any supported device that you use to sign in to your Google account. If you don't want other users to access your account, do not create a pass key on a shared device. So say if you have like a shared device, family, workplace, school, don't create a pass key on the shared device if you don't want them to access your Google account. So I do have a pass key enabled. So this is what the screen should look like. Now this will probably change in the future. So here it says Google, Use your passkey to confirm it's really you. And then it has this little graphic here and your device will ask you for your fingerprint, face, or screen lock. Try another way or continue. So once you tap on continue, you'll see a sign in option for this example. It is iCloud passkey sign in. So it says, sign in. Do you want to sign in to google.com with your saved passkey? And then it will show your email address or whatever login you have. And then you can hit continue or other sign in options. This may be different for every operating system. You might encounter this error where it says something went wrong. If you exit out of there, we weren't able to sign you in, try again or try another way. When you end up tapping on try another way, this will be the screen that you get most likely. Choose how you want to sign in, use your pass key, enter your passcode or get help. And another way where it says try another way, you have the pass key, iPhone, iPad, or Android device, use passkey from a device with a camera, or security key, use an external security key, continue or exit out. This will be different for every operating system, remember. So back to this article, the help article, use your passkey to sign in on a different device. Now to sign into your account on a computer, you can use a passkey created on a mobile device. When you sign in on a computer with a passkey for the first time, a QR code appears on the computer. To sign in again, scan the QR code with your phone's camera, 
The next time you sign in with this computer and phone combination, you won't need to scan a QR code. After you sign in, you may be offered to create a pass key on the computer. Remember to accept only if you own or control the device. So don't use your shared laptop at your workplace. Don't want your boss looking through your Google account or your school. And then here, remove or opt out of pass keys. Remove a pass key. If you lost a device where you created a pass key, or created a passkey on a shared device by mistake, you should invalidate the passkey for use with your Google account. So to remove a passkey you created, go to your Google account. You may need to sign in, select security under signing into Google, tap passkeys, select the passkey you want to remove, tap the X icon. Now to remove a passkey automatically created by Android, to remove a passkey that was automatically created on your Android device, you need to remove the device from your Google account. Go to your Google account, on the left navigation panel, select security. On your devices panel, select manage all devices. Select the device and sign out. If multiple sessions appear with the same device name, they could all come from the same device or multiple devices. If you want to make sure that there's no account access from a device, sign out all of the sessions with this device name. Now tip, you can check google.com forward slash devices to review all devices with access to your account. Now you can also opt out of signing with pass keys. So important, you will still retain all pass keys on your account. All future sign-ins will require your, will require your passcode, will require your password and optional two-step verification depending on configuration. When you first create a pass key, you opt into a pass key first passwordless sign-in experience to sign into your Google account without a pass key and use another sign-in method to try another way. If you choose try another way often, Google will offer the passkey challenge less frequently in the future to reflect your implied preferences. You can change this by repeatedly signing in with passkeys. Interesting. To go back to your earlier sign-in method, change the preference in your account settings. Go to your Google account. You may need to sign in. Select security. Turn off skip passwords when possible. Fix a problem about a lost or missing passkey, lost or stolen device, or missing or unavailable passkey. So here it says on a device you're able to access, sign into your Google account, remove the passkey associated with the lost or stolen device. And then here it says learn how to remove a passkey. And then down here it says missing or unavailable passkey. If you have passkeys on your account but aren't offered a passkey during sign in, make sure that. The device with the passkey has the screen lock enabled. If your device's screen lock is disabled, you will not be able to use the passkey on that device until you enable the screen lock again. That sounds like a lot to do. To the skip password during sign in toggle is on. Now to sign in to your Google account without a passkey, tap try another way. To skip the passkey challenge and go back to your earlier sign in choices. Tip. If you choose try another way, often Google will offer the passkey challenge less frequently in the future to reflect your implied preferences. You can change this by repeatedly signing in with passkeys. That's what I read earlier. I sound like a broken record, but that's what it is. And then here we have learn how to remove a passkey. So this link here actually brings you back to an earlier part of the article where it says remove a passkey, where you see remove or opt out. So going back down, and clicking on lost or stolen device, it says learn how to remove a passkey. I will link this entire article in here for you. And another thing is I have a security key linked up to this account. So to make sure your account is safe, to keep to help keep your account safe, Google wants to make sure it's really you. Connect your security key, tap next, then hold your security key flat against the back of your phone at the center of the top edge until a check mark appears on your phone screen. So I ended up asking Bard how secure our Google pass keys and it gave me this draft here. Now it says strong encryption pass keys are stored encrypted on your device. This means that even if your device is stolen, your pass keys cannot be accessed by anyone else. Biometric authentication pass keys can be protected by your device's biometric authentication, such as fingerprint or, or facial recognition. This means that you only need to authenticate with your biometrics once and that you can sign in to websites and apps without having to enter a password. Now cross platform support. Pass keys work across all major platforms, including Windows, Mac OS, Linux, Android, and iOS. That means that you can use the same pass keys on all of your devices. Automatic sync pass keys are automatically synced across all of your devices 
This means that you don't have to worry about manually updating your pass keys if you get a new device. Overall, Google Pass keys are a very secure way to sign in to websites and apps. They are easy to use and they offer a high level of security. If you're looking for a more secure way to sign in, then I recommend using Google Passkeys. That's pretty cool. Yeah. That's it for this video on Google Passkeys. If you like the video, make sure you drop a like on it, comment, and subscribe. Turn on that post notifications and join my notification squad. Thank you for taking the time out of your day or night to consume my content. I really appreciate that. And I hope you have a wonderful day or night wherever you may be. Thank you once again. I'll see you in the next one.